What's up and good morning everyone. Welcome back to the channel. My name is Dylan. If you're new here, please hit that subscribe button. Helps a lot. Um, but today we're gonna be working on the truck just a little bit. Um, so with these trucks and with every other truck, they have issues. Um, the weather stripping on the outside is sweeping down. So when I was at the dealership yesterday, from mom's car to get her stuff done i remembered i needed to get um a new piece i didn't order all of them i just ordered the other side so i'm gonna end this video i'm just pretty much record me fixing it but we've got the little piece over here but today that's what we're gonna do we are actually gonna unwrap this i've already seen it at the dealership so we're gonna get this unwrapped and get started on the truck all right, so first things first, we're gonna get this out of the wrapping paper, the weather strip, um, this is the part number, if you wanna order them for your truck, if you got the same truck as me. It's a 07 to 13 model, um, so you remember, so get this unwrapped. And yeah, there's the weather stripping. I don't know if y'all can really see that well or not, but pretty much that is what we are going to replace so that it goes in on this side of the door, back passenger side. Um, this is where this piece here is where it lines up and clips in to where the pillar is, the B pillar, and then this slides in the back of the door and should be perfect fit, so we'll see. How that goes. But for the time being, before we take the one off the truck, we're just gonna leave this here. All right, so back at the truck, what you wanna do is you wanna obviously turn the key on, roll that back window all the way down. It'll be much easier when you're pulling the, the weather stripping out and just turn the key off and be all right for but then. We're gonna come around this side of the truck and you can obviously tell this is pretty bad. All right, so what we're gonna do next, uh, I'm gonna move the truck and make it easier for y'all to see and for me to have some more work space on that side of the truck. So I'm just gonna move the truck real quick. So next, pretty much all you want to do is have the door open. Where my finger is, I don't know if you can tell. I want to slide over a little bit. So you should just slide right on out. Just like that. The rest of it. And you can tell probably been needed to be changed. Okay. There it goes. What we're gonna do next, I'm just gonna clean this up a little bit, get it a little nicer, and then go from there and start putting the new one on. All right, now that you got your area cleaned up, I'm gonna take your new one. Do the same thing you just did get it to slide in. Slide it in. Get that to slide down. Find where this piece slides in here. You should hear it click. And then the rest, you just wanna press down 
and it all clip into place. And then now you got your new weather strip and we'll take you over here and show you how it looks. Nice and tight is what would you want. These are still good. These are still my OEM ones. The, the only reason I did this one is this is the only one that had an issue. But opening this door, you can see nice and tight seal. So once the window's up, it'll be nice and flush up against the window. And we'll do that here in just a second. I'm going to make sure everything's good and we'll roll the window up. All right, so everything seems to look good. I got the key on. We're going to roll the window up and you're all going to see how this works. Yes, I know my windows are slow. I don't know why. And just like that, tight seal all around. Let's see if you can see, you can see it from the inside. All sealed up and that's what we want. No more leakage into the door from the rain. And yeah, that's about it. Fits nice, looks good. Brand new. I should put some um, trim protectant on it so I can save it a little longer, but when I'm at work, I'll do that and I got all the stuff at the shop. So, but yeah, that's about it for that video. Um, I may add more if I do go to the parts store to go get some paint, but I just wanted to show you all that little clip. I know there's videos on YouTube about it, but also I wanted to upload something about fixing this on the truck. It's long overdue and I finally got it done. Looks great, super easy. Um, you can do it at, at home. Don't gotta pay nobody to do it. Just buy the part from the dealership or you can go online and buy them. It was literally only $23 for that piece. I mean, yeah, that might be a little expensive, but I'd rather have an OEM fit because people online were having issues with it being here and not flush. So they weren't fitting right. So I was like, I'm just gonna get it at the dealership. So the back ones are $23, and then I think the front ones he said are either around 30-ish to 35-ish. So not too bad. I'll eventually get them all replaced in the future, but for right now, they still look all good. So, and that's what we're just gonna deal with. But thanks again, you guys, for watching the video. Um, if you're new, please hit that subscribe button. It helps a lot. Um, if you enjoy this little video, I'll go more in depth about the truck and stuff. If y'all want that, um, comment down below or hit me up in the Instagram on my poll. I have a poll going on in the Instagram um, about what y'all want to see. So yeah, hit that like video if you liked the video. And again, I'll see you guys next time.